I would say first and foremost start small and start with compassion. Very often we're afraid to ask the question around our health or wellness because we're afraid of the answer. We're afraid that our finances is the same. Sometimes we're afraid to start because we're afraid, what if I'm not fit enough? Sometimes people say, I'll go to the gym when I get fit. So wherever you are, accept where you are with kindness and compassion and make a small step. Then think about one thing. What one thing could you do today that would nourish your mind? What one thing would nourish your soul? What one thing would, 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 would nourish your body? And make those small changes. And very often in life, particularly when it comes to health and wellness, we know the what. We know what healthy people look like. We know what leads to a healthy life. We know how to get there. We know about meditation. We know about exercise. We know about green juice. We know about avoiding the processed food. But very often we're still not doing it. When you have the what and you have the how, but you're still not doing it, something is missing. So if you have the what and the how, what's missing is the why. So what is your why? Maybe it's your mum, your dad, your brother, your sister, or your children. Somebody needs you. You are somebody's hero. And if you're not around, their world becomes infinitely darker forever. Taking time to mind yourself is the most unselfish thing you do. 1% of your day is 15 minutes. And whether you use that 15 minutes to move, to dance, to sing, to enjoy a cup of tea, to, to have a bath, to just stop and breathe, or to look yourself in the mirror and say, I love you. We owe ourselves that time. You deserve that time.